Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about motion detection on a network camera. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So, uh, you hear me talk about the network cameras a lot, and we talk about the different things that you can do with them, mounting them, using them as baby monitors, this and that and the other. We talk about, you know, being able to watch the video even on your phone. Um, but one of the things that triggers these different things is motion detection. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to go in depth on, um, you know, how to configure the motion detection so it does exactly what you want it to do because there's a couple of different um, ways of configuring it. Um, now, this episode, we assume that you've already installed your camera. Um, you can watch on the previous episode the installation and using easy search and stuff like that. We're just going to go straight to the heart of setting up motion detection, both in the camera's web interface and using the DView software. So let's go ahead and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at um, setting up motion detection to either block or uh, you know watch a specific area in the um, video frame. Start by opening DView. Click the setup gear at the bottom of the page. Now select the advanced professor button. Click device list and select the camera you want to configure. Selecting the motion detection tab at the top may ask you to install an ActiveX control. Go ahead and let this install. Once this is done, you should check the enable box. Now you will see the camera image and a little window. The window can be resized and moved around. If you're going to set up more than one zone, Name them something easy to remember. Sensitivity is just that, how sensitive you want the motion detection to be. Percentage is how much of the window needs to be filled up to trip the motion detection. You can use these two settings to create areas that are watched, like the door, or areas that are ignored, like the window. Save and you're done. If you only have one camera and you want to use the interface, select the Setup tab, then click Motion Detection button to the left. Check the enable box. Now this one is slightly different, but it works on the same principle. Click and drag the red grid over the area you want watched, then erase any sections that you don't want watched. Now save your settings. So now that we have our camera so that motion detection is configured, what we want to do is have it when that motion detection is triggered, we want for it to record our video onto an FTP server. So let's go ahead and do that. To have your video recorded to an FTP or NAS after motion detection is triggered, create a login for the camera. Now select the Setup tab, then the Recording button on the left. Now check the Enable box. Put your username, password, and other relevant login information into the fields. Now, under Scheduling, select Event-Based, then Motion Detection. And finally, save your settings. If you have everything configured correctly, you can navigate to your storage box and watch your videos. So, now we have our cameras. They're set up uh, with motion detection. So, if uh, you know something triggers it, it's going to start recording video, and it's going to record it on our FTP. So that's going to do it for this week. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.